Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back at my uh, my shelter I built. I came back after a snowfall, uh, which we are going to get a lot more of, a lot more snow overnight into tomorrow. So today's Friday, and it's supposed to be snowing all day tomorrow on Saturday. So. I figured I'd better stick around town and not go up to the tent because uh, driving, I don't know man, <laughs> driving could be really sketchy in these, it is really sketchy in this weather, but uh, yeah, this is nothing, this is nothing. Uh, so I'm back at the shelter and there, there it is. Still standing after that snow, so I just came in my tracks. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Almost blending right in, so that's good. Either way, it blends in. Either way, but this is just, I guess the snow adds more camouflage. Okay. So this could be interesting. These holes could mean uh, airflow. Airflow and not insulation. I want to keep it insulated. And this is just a lack of snow because of the tree up there. But I, I think that the holes mean that it has airflow and I want it more insulated than airflow. This is. This is what's behind. A lot of spruce. A ton of spruce. And a lot of animal tracks too. We'll go and we'll go, yeah, that's what we'll do later on. We'll go and see if we could see any tracks because I saw a ton when I was walking in. <laughs> That right there. That's called old man's beard. Take that in the summertime when it's really dry. That's an excellent fire starter. But okay. That doesn't look too bad. Wow. Okay, so not a lot of snow got in, which is really good. I'm actually surprised. Yeah, there's snow in the front here, but that's expected. But other than that, that's looking good. Oh, it smells great too. <laughs> Yeah, so the inside, uh, again, it's just a bunch of hardwood. This is called a lean-to shelter, L-E-A-N-T-O, lean-to shelter. Yeah, it's looking good. I don't... I'm not going to see any animals because they could probably hear me from miles away. Anyways, yeah, that's it. So, came here to see that. And I came, well, I didn't bring my hatchet 
because I didn't think that it would need any more work, but I'm probably going to stick a few other boughs where the holes are just to prevent the, uh, the moisture from getting out because if I'm in there, it's going to create body heat and that's what I don't want to escape is my body heat. You want, you want that with you. So let's go around. Zoom in on that. Let's go around looking for animal tracks, shall we? All right. See you in a second. Got some rabbit tracks. Not too far away from the shelter, right there. Maybe about 50 feet away from the shelter. Rabbit tracks. I notice a bunch of these walking in. Yep. I'm going to show you guys. Where is it? Hopefully I could find some coyote tracks. Ah, oh, it just goes way down there. Right down there. Hold on, wait a second. Are these rabbit tracks? I don't know, but if they are, it's a huge rabbit. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that they are. I'm gonna say that these are rabbit tracks. All right, no tracks around here, but. Always seem to fly. Always seem to greet me. Hold on. Gotta get that camera ready. This is where I saw the coyote tracks. Not those. <laughs> For some reason I always see them up this little, this aisle here. They're decent sized too, the tracks. Not yet. Rabbits. Not yet. Right here. 
No. no. Uh, yes, they got paw, paw prints in them. So these are the canine, but they're huge. There's no human tracks around here except for mine, so it's got to be, I mean, a coyote, I'd say. Let's follow him. Yeah, we're going to be we're going to be walking for a bit. Doesn't look like they end anytime soon. I mean, they don't hibernate, so no canines hibernate. Following tracks for days. All right, see you guys in a sec. We recording? <coughs> We're recording. All right, yeah, it's a little, a little dark in here. The exposure is kind of down. Uh, I hear it cracking too. Oh, it's gonna be safe. Uh, thanks a lot for coming with me on my adventure, and you know I'm. I'm back and forth from the tent to this place. I do have a place of my own. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do um, I do appreciate all of you. I also do have a Facebook page called Wildside Photography. So check that out if you want. It's uh, Barred Owl on the front. And I do, I post anything there from landscape to macro I do consider myself a decent photographer I mean I like my own pictures but it's subjective right <laughs> um, and my Instagram is forest and trail 79 that's forest and trail 79 and again it's it's uh, just a lot of photography with my uh, landscape macro um, of at uh, my lake, uh, just a lot of uh, a lot of places where I do go. It's uh, it's a fun hobby, and uh, you know, again, you know, might not like it. It's okay, <coughs> but I do appreciate all my subscribers, uh, and I haven't. Yeah, I, I should be. I know it takes consistency on on YouTube to uh, create content, 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 but it's, it's, I, I like doing outdoor work at the cottage or at the tent, uh, but 
right now I really don't have any projects it's just me going up there and doing a bit of work but I did that last time and my place was I told you on the last video that I would I would show you and I'm sorry I didn't um, it was just so cluttered in there it's so cluttered and I'd like again it's like an 8 by 10 tent and I do have a few things in there so and I'm also yeah so that uh, it is done and I will show you when I go up next I will show you what I did do um, yeah and I, I also want to tell you to I don't want to sound like uh, you know an apocalyptic nightmare here but I just want to stress that be prepared uh, for any event um, I'm not saying it's gonna happen I'm just saying prepping is always a good idea <coughs> excuse me it's it's imperative that uh, you needs let's say if your power goes out okay you have lanterns you have a generator do you have a headlamp do you have um you, you know is your food go bad because you don't have that you know uh you can only rely on your phone so much until a battery goes out uh your computer until that battery goes out but again you know uh, power goes out something simple but could be something big and that's why, um, that's partially why I do have the tent, is because I do, I'm actually going to get a solar power, solar power battery pack. Um, yeah, I, I just, uh, just want to tell you that. <laughs> and I also do have a, uh, a stock of food, which is no problem, like, a can of beans is what a dollar, two dollars tops. Uh, uh, beans, rice, uh, that'll last you for a long time. So I, I probably have enough food up there to last me for a month or so. If you know, I'm not going to say shit when when if shit hits the fan, you kind of need to do something and not just stay around hoping that it'll be okay the next day um, again you know I'm not trying to strike any fear in anybody just if okay so if you have food in your storage that's good in your pantry whatever that's good if you have a backup backup food good you're on a good start but you know again if the power goes out you can only rely on rechargeable batteries for so long um, yeah, okay, enough with my rant, thank you so much, and uh, I will see you guys on the next video, okay, take care, bye-bye. Uh,